Hey everybody, I'm Dean Stevens. A former co-worker once told me leaving this set, taking a left turn to the hallway followed by a straight shot to the parking lot was the best left turn of his day. And I could not disagree more. I've made my first left turn into the station parking lot on Ben Sawyer Boulevard back in July of 1990. I was a 27 year old kid who never lived anywhere but in the great state of Texas. Little did I know how the great people of the Palmetto State were about to change my life. In August of 1992, I found an open door in the open arms of a community committed to recovery from alcohol and drugs. They have been with me every step of the way, every day since 10,630 days to be exact. You were with me in March of 1994 when Caroline and I exchanged our wedding vows. Our sports director at the time, Steve Bartlestein, pulled off what was likely the first ever wedding reception live shot in the Lowcountry. You were there for the births of Jack, Charlie, and Sam. Not exactly in the delivery room, but just on the other side of the TV screen to welcome us home. And you were there October 3rd, 2005, when our 11-month-old Sam was struck by a car as he crawled on the driveway of our family home. You were there with prayers when we were unsure if he was to live or die. You were there when our church family held a special service for Sam seven days later. And you were there when he was released from MUSC's Children's Hospital 19 days later. And you are still there for Sam and for our family and ask about him nearly 16 years later. You carried our family until we could find our footing. The greatest compliment I received in 31 years is when I earned your trust and when you chose to share your lives with me, your stories and your secrets and your hopes and your dreams, your disappointments and your tragedies. And I'll never be able to put into words what that meant to me and what you mean to me. Professionally, I covered sports from 1990 to 2002. I learned from the best, the John Cresses and the Ray Stackleys and the Fred Jordans, the Tom Rileys, the John McKissicks of the world. I covered the best back in the day, CFC basketball, Citadel baseball, the early days of the Stingrays and a packed out Coliseum, epic the Braves in the World Series, the vibrations at the Daytona 500 when that green flag dropped, little compares to that. Oh yeah, we were golden covering the 96 Olympics in Atlanta as well. I was a lucky, lucky man. But those were just events. They came and they went and the memories eventually will fade. But the relationships inside the walls of this building will last a lifetime. I worked with some amazingly talented folks who passed down a wealth of knowledge and experience. And I was privileged to be able to share what was so freely given to me with those who wanted to learn. I have lifelong friends from the Quattro, and for that, I'm forever thankful. There are those who said this retirement from ABC News 4 came abruptly. It did not. It had been clawing at me for some time. A series of events, coincidences, and God winks recently led me down a path of self-realization and awareness that my physical and mental health needed more of my attention than Vosats and overnight news tips and social media posts. Nothing more, nothing less. It was time to do a better job of taking care of me. All the blessings, all the gifts, all the opportunities, none of it would have been possible without the support of Caroline. Never once in 29 years did she ever say, why are you working the weekends? Why are you missing dinner? Why are you working 14 hours today? When things got tough, she got tougher. She is my world. Jack, Charlie, Sam, you're my heart and my soul and my reason. I'm a blessed man surrounded by the best team, family, coworkers, and you. It remains a winning combination. And when I take my last left turn, I will do so with a tear in my eye and a heart overflowing with appreciation and a level of gratitude I never knew existed until I met the low country. I promise you we will meet again and I will see you soon. But until then, may you find peace in your day and quiet in your night. I love you all.